it's starting to get uncomfortable. Uh, salute to everybody that's just tuning in for this video. Steve Kerr and his Golden State Warriors. It's starting to get uncomfortable. I'm not going to lie. Just watching him deal with headaches. Um, for those who don't know, I believe this is how the story goes. You need more content, check me out. It's MrT.com. Also, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, at it's Mr. Telefero. Always for more content. Um, it's starting to get uncomfortable with Steve Kerr. I'm going to tell you why. Steve Kerr had back surgery, I believe, what, a year or two ago? And, again, Steve Kerr, he had a long playing career. He played alongside Michael Jordan for a few of the rings. Um, he made big shots. He's a spot-up shooter. And after that, Steve Kerr went into broadcasting, that road life, traveling. And then he picked up the job as a the Golden State Warriors coach. Um, and again, traveling and everything, it, it, it has to take a toll on your body. Steve Kerr had back surgery. At some point, I'm not an expert in this in this field, but something about spinal fluid leaking, it just sounds crazy, right? Spinal fluid has been leaking, and somehow in junction, that, that creates these headaches that he's having, and, um, and, and, and that's kind of where we're at with it right now. He has a lot of headaches. Um, he has a lot of problems um, just getting through games. If you ever just paid attention, and I do, y'all know I watch pretty much every second of basketball I can. If you ever look over to the sideline, you can see Steve Kerr literally at points in the game just like grabbing his head, shaking his head, and, and you never want to see that. You can tell that he's having problems getting through games obviously the stress of coaching a team that is championship or bust at this point adding Kevin Durant just it, it pretty much just um made the expectations that much higher losing Luke Walton who could step in and be the interim head coach I don't know if how much um confidence Steve Kerr has in a Mike Brown and company when he's not the head coach um I think Luke Walton should have if he could do it all over again he probably would have not taken the Lakers job and stayed on the sidelines with the Warriors for a couple more years. And I'm going to be honest with you, I don't see Steve Kerr getting past two seasons, and I think there's a good chance he might retire after this season, all right? For those who don't know Steve Kerr in the post-game press conference, he said, look, this thing's not going to last long. If I can't coach, I'm going to step down and let the um, an associate head coach or interim head coach do the job that I need to to be done for my team to be um, productive and, and to try to win a championship. I'm not. This is not going to be a thing. One game is he coaching, one game is he not. He's not a player. He's not going to let this be something that interrupts the team. They're already dealing with Kevin Durant. Is he playing or is he not playing? Steve Kerr said it's not going to be a thing. In the next week or so, he said he'll know what's going on with his health. And if it's to the point where he feels as though he can't coach, he's just going to step down. He's not going to be the coach of this team for the remainder of the playoffs. And then he'll reevaluate the situation in the offseason. That is where I believe Steve Kerr could strongly consider retiring. You don't want to see anybody look this stretch. It's uncomfortable to watch. It is uncomfortable to watch him on the sidelines. And again, it, let's say they don't win a championship. They get to the finals and they go six or seven games with the, I don't know, the, the team that's already in the second round, the Cavs. They get to the finals and they lose to the Cavs. Well, then next year, the, the expectations are just going to get higher and higher. And honestly, even if they win, Golden State's fan base is so huge right now. Um, and, and, and it's growing and those season ticket prices are through the roof. There's just going to be pressure as long as Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, Draymond Green, and a guy by the name of Kevin Durant are on this Golden State Warriors roster there's going to be pressure every year to win championships. There's just going to be pressure every year to win championships. And I think Steve Kerr should, should think long-term about his health and, and strongly consider stepping down. Like, you don't want to be the guy that gave everything, not only to the game of basketball as a player, but has given everything to the game of basketball as a coach. And you look up 10 years down the line, and your body, you, he'll be, he's 51 right now. All right, your body looks like it's at 75 years old from the stress you put on it for pretty much two different co careers. All right, so I mean, you you look at Steve Kerr in the face; he's he's substantially gotten older in the face. He's only 51 years old. There are nights where Greg Popovich, who's 68 years old, looks about the same age as him. That's not good for Steve Kerr. 
that is not good. Maybe he can step down and go back to broadcasting. Less traveling. Um, with TNT, obviously he can do maybe a one game a week type ordeal and then around playoff times like this time of the year, maybe do three or four games a week. Travel isn't as bad, more family time. But right now, I don't know if Steve Kerr can really can really look his team in the eye and tell them that he'll be the coach past this season. If you're looking to book me for an interview video or by phone, if you're looking to have your music or your skill featured on my daily podcast, if you're looking to book me for a speaking engagement to help motivate some kids, if you're looking to have me rock some of your clothing to help promote your brand, make sure you hit me up at booking at Again, that's booking at 